with the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, back in uh, January earlier last year, uh, is also going to make sure that if the Palestinians give good on their deal. Of course, it's really not the Palestinians' land, but nonetheless, Moscow is going to try to enforce that agreement. Uh, another reason why, why we may have seen the United States turn in its idea of a two-state solution, because the U.S. would like to get their hands on that oil, and uh, they will certainly finance the exploration and the drilling uh, for Israel. And so, as we can see, the list goes on and on and on. I'd like to read to you a little bit of the information coming out of the, the magazine, uh, online magazine called Commentary. It's commentarymagazine.com. Uh, openly declaring it's, it's drilling in the underwater sabotage. That was Hezbollah did that. Uh, uh, all added uncertainty to waters that had for decades been tranquil. The fact that Russia has dispatched a permanent naval task force to eastern Mediterranean highlights the fact that the water will no longer be uncontested. Against the backdrop of such changes in the eastern Mediterranean, increasingly strategic importance, the United States has little permanent military infrastructure in the region. Hopefully, incoming Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter will change that. But an uh, augmentation of the U.S. presence will take years, if not decades. Uh, alas, just, uh, just as China has been filling the vacuum in Asia, left by retreating U.S. power in Iran has been doing likewise in the Middle East. So too is Russia making its move into the eastern Mediterranean. In recent days, uh, Cyprus papers have been awash with rumors that Cyprus might grant Russia use of its air and naval bases. Here, for example, is a report from the Nicosia Cyrus uh, Mail. It says here, quoting there from their source, local media reports on Tuesday, February the 10th, continue to suggest that Cyprus may grant Russia use of the air base and on the island as part of an unpa uh, undated defense agreement expected to be signed during President Nikos uh, Anastas' uh, visit to Moscow later this month. On Monday, Russian news agency RIA Novosti reported that the agreement to be signed in Moscow would allow the Russian Air Force to deploy from an air base in Pap uh, Paphos, some 40 kilometers from, uh, from the RAF air base in uh, uh, Ak Akrotiri. However, RIA Novosti did say that the bilateral defense pact did not foresee creating a Russian military base here. The issue of the creating of a Russian military base is not being discussed. We're talking about providing the possibility of using an air base in Paphos that other countries such as Germany and France use, an Athens-based diplomatic source told the news agency. Uh, of course, that's their take on it there. Uh, I know also the World Tribune put, uh, has, has uh, spoke on this matter as well. It says the official base agreement is expected to be signed on February 25th. According to the Letna.ru, one of the most popular online newspapers in Russia, close ties to the, close ties to the Kremlin. Well, it's actually a state-ran uh, newspaper there. Uh, said, uh, but now they're claiming that, the, that it will actually become an official base for Russia. Uh, and of course, the U.S. also has bases now as well in Iraq. So the whole region is becoming a, a, a really a very volatile situation there. Uh, and one other point I'd like to bring out to you, when we were traveling here recently, uh, going to the different uh, concentration camps in Europe, uh, we'll be in Poland as well at Auschwitz very soon, one thing that we saw that was very interesting was a mega highway being built from, um, it was from um, uh, Austria into the Czech Republic. And on all the travels going out of the country, we'd pass through some of the old Russian, uh, Russian controlled checkpoints there, massive structures that you would have to go through, but no longer did they have to have a checkpoint because the EU is like the United States. You just travel from state to state as if there is no big deal. There's no checkpoints or anything. But oddly enough, on this superhighway, they were actually building another huge checkpoint, modern facility which only makes me wonder if all this is 